In question number 7 of this third exercise, using Euler's formula, we'll have to find the unknown values. As we see in this table, the unknown values are represented by question marks. And uh, so we know that for a polyhedron, the Euler's formula is represented by the equation, which is f plus v minus e is equal to 2. And in this equation, we know that f represents the number of faces in the polyhedron, v represents the number of vertices in the polyhedron, and e represents the number of edges in the polyhedron. Now, using this formula, we'll find out the unknown values and we'll take each of the column one by one. So, let us take the first column where we see f as the unknown and the number of vertices and edges are given. Let us again take the Euler's formula, which is f plus v minus e, and substitute the values which are given from the table, and we'll keep the unknown as the same variable. So, f is f, v becomes 6 is 12, and this is equal to 2. If we solve the left-hand side, we get f minus 6 is equal to 2, and f is equal to 8 at the end. So, in the first column, we can conclude that the number of faces would be 8. Let us now consider the second column where the number of faces and the number of edges are given. So, let us again take the Euler's formula and substitute the values which are given according to the second column. So, we have f plus v minus e is equal to 2, where in this column, now the vertices are not given. So, we'll substitute the faces, which is 5. Vertices is unknown. So, V minus 9 is equal to 2. If we solve the left-hand side, we'll get V minus 4 is equal to 2. And at the end, we'll get V is equal to 6. So, we've got the number of vertices. The number of vertices is 6 in the second column. Let us now consider the last column where we see that the number of faces and the number of vertices are given and the number of edges is the unknown. So again, taking the Euler's formula, f plus v minus e is equal to 2 and we'll substitute the values which are given in the column. So 20 plus 12 minus e is equal to 2. If we solve the left-hand side, we'll get 32 minus e is equal to 2 or we'll get 32 minus 2 is equal to e if we transpose e to the right hand side and 2 to the left hand side and at the end we'll get e is equal to 30. So we've got the unknown of the third column as well. So this is how we're going to use the Euler's formula to find the unknown and this is how we're going to answer the seventh question of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.